hello guys welcome back to the channel so I got a really nice one for you today so I was able to get my hands on a Lexus 350 IS so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you as much as I can and we're just gonna do a review on the Lexus IS 350 2022 and I'm excited about this one nice luxury so I'm gonna show you what it looks like I'm gonna show you the inside and power and everything else also, a lot of you guys who watch my channel have not subscribed. I mean, you're already watching the video. Boop, 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 boop. Actually, I think it's right here. Boop, boop, boop. Super easy. Just click the button. You like the video just so I can give you more content like this. Anyway, let's go and let's car stomach. it. All right, guys. Like I said, 2022 Lexus RX 350F Sport. Very nice looking car. This car starts about 52,600, depending on your location. It has about two different trim and a bunch of little accessories you can add. Come about seven different colors. I mean, it looks good. A lot of cars are doing this massive grill. So, I mean, I like it. It looks good. As you guys know, this has all the safety features you could think of. Um, emergency braking, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, departure warning, avoidance system, and the grill is massive with a front facing camera, which is probably used also for all the same safety features as well. Take a quick look at those massive grilling and the pattern. I like the pattern. Those headlights look really nice. They are LED self-adjusting headlights. They look really nice at night. And also, I want to show you guys the fog lights. There's two different kinds. One that just light up with the fog and then the side of it will light up when you are turning so you could see the side of the road. These hair vents are functional. They help to cool the brakes. And I think there's like a little oil cooler behind there with the parking sensor. Just another quick look how sleek those beautiful headlights are so they look really good i like them lexus called this color nebula gray pearl it's a almost a darker gray pearl it looks good so it's a side profile of the car and i have to keep remembering to tell you guys this is the f sports model one of the top of the line model and the mirror looks nice i like the painted black cap with the chrome i never like chrome but this one is not too overwhelming so it looks really good as you know this has a probably lane departure warning sensor and blind spot monitoring sensor i even like the the door handle it's nice and sleek it looks really beautiful i like the color the color makes it look really beautiful and very sporty let me show you the back of the car what do you guys think do you like it i like it very sporty looking this car comes with seven different color choice and four different leather trim you can choose from. So there is something for everybody. So this car comes 20 inch wheels. There are 235, 55 inch wheels. They have big disc brake and they really good. They start really well. <laughs> that makes sense. And this vent right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, those help with the cooling of the, the, the brakes. All right, guys, let's open up the engine and take a look at it and I'll tell you all about it. This engine is a 3.5 liter six cylinder. It has about 295 horses and 268 foot pound. And I give you, you can get about 19 city, 26 highway and a combined 22. This car uses premium gas and on a full tank, which is the tank is about 19 gallon and you can get about 365 miles on the full tank still depending on how you drive but that's pretty good not bad okay that was the engine so let's check out the rest of the car i do like how slanted the back is it's kind of like a little bit deceiving but when you sit in the car the way it's made inside it gives you plenty plenty of room so no worries there just a normal size sunroof and this camera also help with you know all the safety sense i will talk about that as well so let's open up okay guys so i got the door open i wanted to show you what it looks like it looks really nice i love the soft soft touch right here soft touch right here a little bit a little bit soft as here as well 
this I don't know what you want to call this but it's not bad it looks good this is kind of gray ish thing also you got your, me your memory seat over here this is extra heat to cool off the mirrors or cool off this little side wing so you can see you got the speaker and you have a really big pocket see really there's a lot of stuff you can put in this pocket a couple of water bottles I want to say about four to five or so this package also has a illuminated Lexus door sealed. I love the dead aluminum dead pedal and all the pedals are nicely done. This is your normal steering wheel, heated steering wheel and your auto lights to open the trunk. And guys, look how beautiful this red interior is. I really like it. Your seats are basically all power front, rear, back lumbar support up down you know the normal yes i love the two-tone black and red and the seats are heated and cooled so i have to show you this guys when you put the car right so the mirror are normal now so when you put it in reverse you can see it tilt down so you can see and also the brakes tighten up i feel it under my feet it tightens up when you put it in the back Yep, I feel it. And when you put it in, in, in drive, and when you put it in pocket, it softens up a little bit. And then you got your cameras right here. That's all, that's it. So here is the steering wheel. It's a nice size. It's heated. It's not cool, but it's heated. And it is also perforated leather right here. It's a normal size, you know, normal 10 and two. Also have shift paddles in there. So you can do it manually. And your cruise control on this side, you have your normal infotainment stuff, radio call, you know, call and vice versa. And here you have your normal cruise control stuff, lane keep assist, front collision warning and vice versa. And so you can also control the little screen right there. I'll show you that in a little bit. I want to also add that the steering wheel is, is powered. So let me just show when you press the button, it adjusts to whichever other setting that you have. So here is the, info, the infotainment. This infotainment right here is controlled by, by this little pad. Basically, it's like a little touchpad. You got the menu, you got your map. This package come with the map system. So everything is controlled through here. So you can just, you know, you can write on it as well if you want to do something. And then it, uh, you can press it down, see? Uh, here. Most cars, most luxury cars will come with uh, electronic parking assist. Here's your button for your heating and cooling seats. And I love that they still have all of the stuff for the climate control. It's hot in here, I may have to turn it on. Let's start the car. So press the button. You guys can see how it starts. So the screen is digital. You have the digital screen that show you a bunch of stuff with like the, your speed limit. This show you more stuff like, you know, like the door that's opening up. Let me, let me zoom in so you can see right here, your, your open doors and more, most other stuff as well. Then you got, this is our regular tackle meter. This is uh, just, you know, your gas, your heating. There's a bunch of other stuff I, that's not there yet. So here's the stuff I met. I wanted to show you guys, see? You got all this information here and that can be controlled either with, uh, let me change it up, with the button on the, on the steering wheel. You see all the wheels, if they need hair, the tire pressure monitoring system, your accelerometer, your eco indicator, your fuel, your range with the fuel you have left, and your current MPG. And this, this has a couple more different look and I'll show it to you guys as I go through the review. So guys, look at this uh, startup sequence on the screen. Nice, right? Very nice. And click OK. And there you go. I love it. And here's the big massive screen. You know, it's, it's a really nice screen. It's a really well-designed screen. 
Lexus has been has done that for a while and it's one of those features I think they should just keep. <laughs> I think it just looks good. That's it. It just looks good. And the radio. I think the radio has eight speakers and it sounds really good. It also has the two USB in the front there and then also a 12 volt power outlet. You have this little cubby hole here for your phone. You can just put your phone there. If you do wireless Apple CarPlay, you don't need to hold the phone. You're gonna put it in the little cubby. I think you should take a normal size phone, you know, like a, like a Pro Max, like an iPhone Pro Max should fit in perfectly. So as you can see, you can just put your phone there and you can see if it rings and then use your wireless Apple CarPlay. So if you wanna control anything here, so you can see, I'm moving the stuff here. It has Apple and Android wired and wireless CarPlay. And the dash here, this is soft touch. I love the little accent. This is also soft touch right here. I mean, the plastic looks really good. Glove box is a normal size glove box, you know, super soft here. Let's close the glove box. Guys, the glove box is a decent size, you know, and there's nothing crazy in there. And you could also do wireless Apple CarPlay, or you could connect it, so that's up to you. Let me show you what it looks like on the screen. So guys, this is, this is the Apple CarPlay. This is playing for my iPhone audio. Let me go to the CarPlay so I can show you guys. So to do that, we gotta use this guy. and then tap it and then here we go this is my apple carplay so here you go this is the apple carplay guys nice right so i turned in another quick video at night so you guys could see what the lights look like and everything this is what i meant guys look how easy is it to, to see this very nice this car comes with LEDs and those LEDs to turn them on and off is soft touch. You just tap it slow, softly and then they turn on or off. Nice. So here's a quick look at the interior so you guys can see what it looks like at night. It's very bright and very easy to read. Even the instrument panel, everything is very well lit. You got two normal size, um, you know, cup holders and you have a little transmission button here this is where you change from sports to sport plus and eco mode if this is where you can also change your four-wheel drive this is what it looks like from the back side it looks good so in the back you have your own air vent and two USB a connection in the back there a decent size pocket you know for a magazine or whatever else here how's the door handle look it looks really good this actually i do like it i do like it, it makes the door looks very nice and i didn't show you guys the roof i don't know if it's suede guys but it's super soft i like the way it looks i think it's suede so here's the sunroof it's a normal size there you go, sunroof button up, down, and shade. And you have your auto dimmable mirrors, your regular size sun visor with LED lights. I think. So, here how the back seat look, guys. So, the other side where I'm sitting is the same thing. So, I'm like a buff for red seat. I eat. If I could get red seat on my next car, I'd be really happy. So, the center console also fold. Let's see what's in here. Just a normal two cup holders. That's it. Close it up. All right, guys, I forgot to show you. These seats both can manually, you can adjust. There's like a little le level here. You can just push it up or back. And I think you can move, you can unlatch the um, the backrest and then fold it down you know for the 60 40 splits if you need to on both sides let me see if i can do the same one on the other side oh don't worry this cover is just for the child's seat and i forgot to take it off but let me show you what i mean you can fold the seat here and then move it forward if you need to yep i just move it back okay also a little led Turn on the reading lights on and off right there. 
I'm sitting here, I have plenty of room. My chair is midpoint, I want a driving position for like a 5'11 person. And I have plenty of heads room because the way the roof made, it goes, it, it goes down and up and out like that. So it's plenty of room. But let me just go show you the trunk for now. So guys, I wanted to show you this little first aid kit that Alexis provide with the car. Let me see if I can show you what's in there. Yeah, you know, your normal stuff. You know, band-aid, um, gloves, um, um, mask, and a bunch of other little first aid kit stuff. That's good. You can just uh, pop the seats here. For some reason that one is not working. I don't know. It might be lock. You have a 12 volt next to it. And then you have the subwoofer. So give you a cargo net as well. It's already packed. So if you need to use it, it's just right there, right in the back of the car. <laughs> Super easy to use. They also come with a little cargo cover, so I forgot to show you that. There you go. This is the car, the little cargo cover that it comes with. Let's put it back. All right, let's see what's under the trunk. Give me a second. So let's open this up and see what's underneath here. All right, just a spare. Is there anything else in here? Your spare, your jack, a little cubby hole. All right, the spare is a 17 inch tire. Okay, that's all. Even those little door seals are nice looking. I like them. All right, guys, let's take the Lexus out on the road. This car also comes with the cold weather package, F Sport handling package, nine speakers, and complimentary three month satellite radio with traffic also. And it sounds really good. So I wanted to show you guys the screen while driving and it is very bright. There's no glare, looks really good at night. You can see everything is well designed and lit up properly and has the 12.3 navigation system. The package that it come with is the Mark Levinson premium audio and also has wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and even an SD card too. So, like I said, you control the screen with this little mouse pad like in the car. Everything works off that and it's very responsive. It's nice. So, guys, the, the car is very, very comfortable. And it has a it has a sports mode and sports plus and just regular. And then when you change it, the graphic also changes. But when I'm driving the car, I feel very secure. It's very comfortable, it looks great and it has plenty of power, V6 power, so. A quick look how nice the interior look. I put a picture there, but it looks beautiful. I like it. The visibility in this car is very nice, guys. You can see everything out of the window. And take a look at the digital dash. It looks really good. It's very clear. I like it. Let me see if I can give you a little zoom in and what it looks like. See, looks very nice. I really like it. It's very simple and very readable. I love it. One thing guys, I wanted to show you guys, I thought was pretty cool. A lot of the trim in the Lexus, they all look like little L's. Some are sideways, some are on top, some are upside down, but they, all of the trim look like L's. That's really nice. That's really nice thinking. One thing that's good about Lexus, this car still has a lot of buttons, your volume, your temperature control, they're all buttons, not like all the other manufacturers that are making everything touch sensitive and getting rid of all the buttons. They market this very well, they know their audience, so they did a very good job when building this car. See, the dash is simple enough, but yet still has all your buttons and all your technology. Lovely. Okay guys, another thing that I like that the Lexus is still doing a little analog clack to make it look like you're in a super luxurious car. Of course it is, but I love that little touch. They're very detailed and little stuff like that that give the car another different look, which I love. All right guys, I'm gonna try to put it in sports mode and show you a little bit quick feed. This car picks up speed really nicely. So let's wait for this car to move and then I'll show you guys a little bit more. 
Sorry guys, you can't hear the sound of the engine roaring, but it sounds pretty good. I had the music playing and I didn't want to get in trouble with YouTube. So anyway, it sounds really good. And even the car adjusts all the parameters of the engine, dampers, it's still very comfortable. I feel like the RPM goes up a little bit and you feel it picking up speed really quickly too. So this is a quick impression of driving the Lexus RS 350. So here's the turn signal on both sides. There it is, I'll show you the back. That's what it looks like. Okay guys, I just wanna show you this real quick. You can't see it really well. I'll show you again at night what it looks like. The, basically the L for the Lexus, and then you have the LED, you know, driving light slash um high beams and then you have also the um the fogs and they are definitely directional when you turn left or right they turn on when needs be to light up the road so this is what the lights look like at night they are very nice and bright so now let's turn on the fog lights so you guys can see what both look like when they are both turned on so this is what it looks like during the daytime, but at night they light up really nice. So it's kind of like an, an, an L as well in the back. So your turn signal and then your backup is right there. And this is the nighttime look for the tail light of the Lexus. Looks good. I like the L. Bright. Very nice. So I do like the slanted of the slant of it. So make it a lot sporty, a sporty look. There's actually, there's a hole, there's an effect, there's actually a hole there and then the exhaust is right there. I don't know if you can hear what it sounds like. Let me stop talking for a bit. It's very quiet, I like. It has a little diffuser in the back here. So, what's, what do you guys think? 2022 Lexus RS Sports, every, features is fully loaded uh, all right guys so what do you think this is let me go there we go this is a 2022 lexus rs sports really nice car so i hope you enjoyed the review if you got any question comment down below let me know what you think let me know how you feel did i miss something out i didn't have that much time with the car so i'm trying to put as much as i can so anyway i want to thank you guys for watching sorry sweating it's this weather florida weather anyway Thank you for watching. Until the next time, like and subscribe. It's right there. Just hit it. Boop. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Until the next time, peace.